Today we're taking a look at the ProRec 800EX. This is a line array comm speaker with a 12 inch down firing sub. And we're gonna go over the overview. I'm gonna share some specs and features. And at the end of this video, I'll share my thoughts and who I think this unit is for. So my first impressions when I was taking a look at this is that it looks very reminiscent to the Electro Voice Evolve 50. Obviously they're two completely different units, but it does kind of have a similar look to it, especially with this top unit. But I do need to point out a big difference. This is not a true line array configuration because only these two bottom speakers are angled towards the ground. The rest are perpendicular with the ground. So it's not a true line array setup where every single speaker component is slightly angled. So I do want to make note of that, but most people probably aren't even going to notice the difference. So taking a closer look at the sub, we've got some handles on the sides and on the top. We do have a four channel mixer along with Bluetooth and a true wireless stereo connection. Up here we do have the subwoofer and the satellite volume and they call the satellite uh, the top section. So you have two separate volume knobs uh, to adjust the volumes on this and then we've got the mix out. Now down here we do have an actively cooled amplifier. This fan does move quite a bit of air and it does make some noise to it which I will show you right here. But this does do a very good job at keeping this amplifier cool. I was playing some EDM pretty hard on this for about four hours, and I could not tell any heat had generated on this amplifier. Now I will go ahead and drop in a little sound test clip so you can kind of get an idea of what it's gonna sound like. Again, it's really not gonna be accurate because of being, you know, through the screen. Now when it comes to the sound quality, the clarity, the fidelity, the bass response, that's the big question, right? Especially on a value unit like this. Now I'm happy to say this downwards firing 12 inch sub does make bass, but when it comes to the top, that's where it becomes a little bit of a toss up. See, if you're not an audiophile or a mixing engineer or someone who's aspiring to have a perfectly accurate frequency response coming from your speakers, it's not bad. It gets loud and it makes noise and it actually has enough horsepower to run away from the sub. Like you'll have to turn this thing down. But in my testing, I found that some of the audio fidelity and the high frequency range was not as accurate as some other speakers. It still makes noise and it still sounds okay. It just doesn't have the high end configuration that you would expect to have on a over thousand dollar speaker. It's tough to knock this for not having a perfect configuration when it's coming in at less than $500. So what are my thoughts? What do I think of this unit from ProRec, this value line array calm speaker. Initially, I thought it would have been nice to pull out the Electro Voice Evolve 50 and actually compare these speakers side by side and do a sound test. But that's not fair to you, that's not fair to me, that's not fair to Electro Voice or ProRec because these speakers are in two completely different categories. It's comparing apples and oranges. ProRec had to get a little creative with some of their technologies to make this fit that budget value price point. But that's not what Electro Voice focuses on. Electro Voice focuses on implementing some really advanced technology into their units to make them stand out. And there's a premium that goes along with that. And that's okay. It's two completely different sports, two completely different ball games. So then where in the market does this ProRec unit fit in? Who's gonna benefit from this? Well, I'll put it very simply. Budget live sound. If you're a budget or beginner and you're looking for a live sound solution, I would suggest to take a look at this. Whether you're a DJ, a band, a performer of any kind, or a church, or karaoke, this could be a decent solution for that. It does make some decent noise, and it's at a pretty decent price. The only thing that I wish ProRec did have is for people who are transporting this around, some kind of carrying case, a protective case for this unit kind of like the Electro Voice has here with the sleeves. ProRec does not currently offer something like that. That may be subject to change. So to quickly summarize the ProRec 800EX, this does appeal to the beginner or budget oriented live sound audience. Now, a few things that I do like about this are the taller standing 12 inch subwoof cabinet here that gives it a beefier look, has a very robust build quality. And I think the thing looks very visually appealing in general. I also like that on the back, it does have that actively cooled amplifier, which means if I'm using this for an extended amount of time, I don't need to worry about this unit overheating or thermally limiting like on some other units. I do wanna point out, however, that I did have to turn down the volume of the tops or they call it the satellite because it seems to be running away from the subwoofer, but I was able to simply just turn the volume down and get a more balanced sound. Now, if you have any questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns about this ProRec 800EX unit, make sure you leave them in the comments. I'm interested to hear what you think. If you found this video helpful at all, leave a thumbs up. That'll help let me know. And I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.